Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. I've been wanting to put together a bug out bag and I wanted the backpack to be a good heavy duty durable backpack. So what I did is I went to Maxpedition's website, maxpedition.com, and I ordered the Vulture 2 backpack. So today I want to go over the backpack, show you some of the different features on it, and I'm also going to go over Maxpedition's CCW accessories, like their holster and the magazine pouches that go along with most of their backpacks and their Versa packs. So let's get started. We'll go over the backpack and I'll show you the CCW accessories. Okay, so this is Maxpedition's Vulture 2 backpack. As you can see, I got it in the foliage color. I picked foliage mainly because it goes along with most modern day camouflages. And if this is going to be my bug out bag, then I want it to be able to blend in. Now on the outside of the pack, you can see there's multiple attachment points using molly straps. You can mount multiple different pouches up front, on the sides, even on the waistband, which is a nice padded waistband. Now the shoulder straps of this, they're contoured and padded, make it real comfortable carrying a heavy load for quite a good long distance. And there's a couple of plastic D-rings on here if you want to attach other things, and plus the molly strapping. Now on the sides there's molly straps, but there's also two compression straps on each side. You can undo them with these quick release buckles. That way once it starts getting full you can tighten them down, compress everything, keep your pack nice and compact. Up top there's a heavy duty carry handle. Everything's double stitched, reinforced. There's also a velcro flap here in case you're carrying a water bladder or maybe some kind of military antenna if you're military and you're the radio man. But that velcro shut, keep the water out. Now you'll see on the front it's Maxpedition's usual Y strap, and it's just another compression strap. Once you start getting a heavy load, bulky, you can tighten it down and keep everything compressed nice and neat. Once you undo that, there's three main compartments on this backpack. And the three compartments actually can carry up to 2,810 cubic inches. And you've got the front pocket, which is called the slip pocket. And it's secured by a heavy-duty YKK zipper course with your paracord pull tab but it's just a basic pocket pretty deep large it covers most of the width of the backpack itself and you've got your middle pocket again heavy duty YKK zipper undoes undo it all the way you've got a keeper here keep your spare keys that way you're not losing them out on the trail or maybe a pocket knife or something and there's some small internal pockets in here places to hold pens or knife sharpeners, maybe a pad of paper. But this is a pretty large pocket. Like I said, it covers most of the front of the backpack. Then you've got your main compartment. And this compartment's pretty big. Go the full width, full height of the backpack. There's a small mesh pocket in here. You can see through it. See what you're carrying in there. And there's also an area to carry up to a hundred ounce water bladder if that's something that you like to carry. Now like a lot of the backpacks that Maxpedition makes there's a, another zippered compartment in the back and there's velcro strips in there and that's where you're going to keep your CCW accessories that I'm going to show you in a minute. For the back of the backpack it's pretty padded very comfortable to wear on a day hike or a couple days worth of hiking and again there's also velcro strip up front for a name tag you can see I've got my U2 name tag on there but the backpack is made of a lightweight ballistic nylon and like I said heavy duty YKK zippers all the zippers have paracord pull tabs for durability and won't rust or break off like some of the old metal ones and then on the bottom there's a couple straps here if you want to strap a sleeping bag or a sleeping pad and it's also a heavy duty rubberized bottom that way if you're setting it down in a wet environment you're not going to get everything on the inside wet and again, that's the Maxpedition Vulture 2. Check it out on their website, maxpedition.com. They've got different colors. Okay, next thing I want to go over is Maxpedition's CCW accessories. Again, you can check them out at their website, maxpedition.com. The first thing I want to go over is their universal holster. As you can see, I've got my SIG P220 in here. So it will fit a full-size, large-frame auto. Once you pull it out, though, it's a very basic 2-inch webbing design. The back of it is full of Velcro. That way, once you put it inside your backpack or your Versa pack on those patches of Velcro I've showed you, 
it just sticks on and it stays on pretty sturdy I've done quite a bit of hiking and jumping around on rocks and I haven't had anything fall out or fall off yet but it's universal you just on velcro it here and you can adjust it to whatever size pistol you're going to be carrying whether it be a full size or a compact it will hold revolvers and semi-autos and it just slides right in now if you're the type that carries a tactical light on the front of a gun it will also slide through there because nothing's form fitted the other thing I want to show you is the double magazine retention as you see I carry single stack magazines in here holds two of them but it will also hold double stack magazines or if you want you can take a magazine out carry a multi-tool or a flashlight in there and again the back is just covered in velcro to stick into those pockets on the different Maxpedition bags but those are the CCW accessories you hear me always talking about again check them out at the website maxpedition.com and I hope you guys enjoyed these reviews okay so that was Maxpedition's Vulture 2 backpack and their CCW accessories thanks for tuning in again and until next time I'll see you on the trail.